welcome. In this session, we'll explore the backpropagation algorithm by working through the linear algebra with respect to the neural network. Let's recall this neural network. It's a simple neural network that solves our two-dimensional exclusive OR problem. The hidden layer has two neurons in it. These neurons, augmented with the unit value, become the input for our, our final uh, neuron. This response of the of, of the network is compared to the label of the data that gives us our residual error and in our case the objective function is the um, it's a squared error function so let's look at this and and recall where these terms come from the gradient of the network is this term is the derivative of the residual error remember we have to work through the chain rule this is the derivative of the activation function this is the derivative of the weights for this final neuron with respect to its inputs, which is just its inputs. This is the, um, the scale factor that we see. So this is the derivative of the output of the um, first hidden neuron times the weight of the output neuron. This is a likewise term, and in both of these, these are scale factors that act on the inputs to the respective neurons. Because these neurons have the same inputs, they will have the same gradient um, directions, and what will change is their gradient magnitudes. I'll do these computations in six steps. I'll refer the first step as one of scaling the objective. And that is, let's figure out what these terms are. So I'll introduce a new symbol, sigma. It doesn't mean standard deviation. It's one that we'll use only in this lecture. And sigma 1 is a scale factor associated with this layer 1 neuron. And I'm going to say that that is the derivative of our, our objective with respect to our residual times the derivative of the residual with respect to the output of the neural network. And that is just the minus r, which depends on all of the weights in the neural network. The next scale factor that I'll compute is, I'll call this the scale for layer 1. And in our case, there's only one neuron in layer 1, but you could imagine in a multi-output uh, neural network that there might be more. So this, I'll, in paralleling, sigma is one scale factor, and I'll use s as the other scale factor. So I'm going to write s1 as that'll be sigma1 times the next part is we have to differentiate the output of this layer 1 neuron with respect to its linear response, and that is going to be sigma 1, and then this is simply the derivative of the activation function, and we're writing that in general as some function c, and that, in, in, um, in the case of a logistic function, is easily computed. So these are how we scale the objectives. The next term for layer 1 is we have to find the gradient. So the gradient of layer 1, that is this scale factor times the derivative of its linear, the linear response of this neuron with respect to the weight vector of this neuron, and because that, uh, that product is just its input times w, its derivative is simply the scale factor that layer 1 sees times the input to layer 1, which is this. So I can now, that's our layer 1 computation. Next, I'll do layer 2. So layer 2, 
what we'll do is we'll call that computation four and I'll say layer two and in general this could be neuron number J and the first thing I do is um, the scale from layer one and what I mean there is that Sigma 2 J so that's the Sigma that neuron hidden neuron one sees the Sigma that hidden neuron two sees there's only two in our simple network that will be the scale factor from num from number one times the weight from number one for neuron J so we take this scale factor that we computed right so we compute the Sigma which is what this little arrow sees and then the s which is what this w sees and then we compute the actual weight for this and that's our sigma so that's that is the scale factor that this neuron is seeing you can kind of think of it if this was if this was a real neuron you'd say this is what's happening at the axon hillock but it really isn't so that's the that's the scale factor that this neuron sees at its output the next thing is for layer 2 neuron J we get this the gradient scale so I'll just say scale layer 2 and that scale factor so this is happening inside each neuron and that scale factor is the scale factor that this neuron sees times the derivative of its activation function so that's the activation function at layer 2 of its scalar so this is the linear response at layer 2 of neuron J so what this means is I take, let's think of it here, I compute sigma 2, 1. So that's what this neuron is seeing here. And that is the what this neuron sees times its weight. Now I'll take what this neuron sees at uh, coming into it, and then I reverse the activation function by taking its derivative. So that's the scale factor inside here. And then computation six is the layer two neuron J and the gradient component. And that is we take the scale factor at layer two for neuron J and we multiply it by the derivative of the linear response at layer 2 for the neuron that we're looking at with respect to the weight vector at layer 2 for the neuron we're looking at and this the derivative of the linear response with respect to the weights is always the input to that neuron so that equals the scale factor for neuron J at layer 2 times the observation that we are providing. And so what we've done is we've, we've taken this linear algebra computation and we can put it in terms of we're propagating scale factors backward what we do is we find the scale factor that comes from the objective term then we find the scale factor at layer one inside the neuron and then we find the gradient and the gradient is the scale factor times the input the neuron that the that this final neuron sees we then move to layer two and for each of the neurons in that layer so 
Here we only have two, but we could imagine that this might be a larger layer. What we do is this. We compute the scale factor that each neuron sees at its output as the scale factor from the previous layer times the weight from the previous layer. So that's how much of a scale factor this neuron sees. Then we say how much of a scale factor happens inside this neuron. And what happens inside this neuron is the scale factor that comes from outside times the scale factor that comes from its activation. And when we have that scale factor, we then know that the gradient component for this neuron is its scale factor times the observation that it sees. And so what, we, what we're doing in the fundamental algorithm for neural networks is we're back-propagating scale factors from the objective, through the output, through the output layer, through the weights from the output layer to the hidden layer, from the hidden layer, the gradient ultimately comes from the data observation that we're provided with.